The Gull Wing is actually the third crossing of the port, Lake Lothing, which is part of the Port of Lowestoft. I'm Simon Bretherton, and I'm the project director for the Gull Wing project. We're very keen to use this opportunity to help the regeneration of the local area. So we felt that the design could be critical in achieving that and therefore we undertook peer reviews with an architecture panel. They looked at various things, one of which was the emergence of the offshore wind industry. So one of the design hints, if you like, for the scheme were wind turbines that provided the starting point for looking at the J-beams which form the most striking part of this design. My name is Tristram Brown. I'm the project manager for the Gullwing Scheme here in Lowestoft. The centre span of the bridge is the showpiece and it's a rolling bascule bridge. For this, we've had to use heavyweight concrete to counterbalance the bridge to allow the hydraulics to work efficiently and properly. Okay, a key part of the operation of the Gullwing Bascule Bridge is the counterbalance. This was designed by Arup. They required an extremely dense concrete because of the compact nature of the heavyweight concrete compartment. My name's Jack Sindhu. I'm Technical Director for Capital Concrete. I got involved with the Goldwing project in the early stages in collaboration with Arup, LKAB and Barons. So the collaboration really started with, with LKAB. We are looking for a partner to assist in supplying the, the Goldwing. We had collaborative meetings with LKAB, with Farrands and ourselves on logistics of supply, mixed design, testing at the other end, on site end. Also within the compartment, it's extremely constrained with a lot of steel stiffeners within the box. So the workability, the compaction, etc., all had to be trialled on site. Hi, my name's Dan Underhill. I am the Special Project Manager for Camford Concrete Pumps. On this particular project, we're responsible for all pumping activities. I wouldn't have any issues at all using heavyweight concrete again, as long as there's the level of collaboration and the trial element is allowed for. There's no reason why this shouldn't be able to be achieved again and again, and maybe even push it even further, who knows in the future. The collaboration worked really well. I think everyone was extremely keen for this project to be successful. Everyone that's working on it is extremely proud of what we're delivering and everybody wanted the complex installation process to go without a hitch. In general, everything went to plan and everyone was happy with the outcome. I would have no worries using heavyweight concrete again following the experience that we've had here at the Gullwing. There's a lot of technical experts involved in this. They've come up with fantastic mixed designs, workability, delivery. So what we got was exactly what we needed. I've got no problem using magnet-dense concrete. I've been using it for the past 30 years. I've got a lot of experience in supplying various projects with magnet-dense concrete, whether you want to skip it, pump it, whatever you want to do it. I've got no issue with the material. I actually find it better than some of the normal material we supply. This is going to be the largest rolling bascule bridge lifted by hydraulic cylinders in the world. It's going to mean a, an awful lot for the local people. It's certainly a fantastic looking bridge, so something we can all be proud of. Mm -hmm.